Hello YouTube community, this is the Jack Camera 13, and I am back with more WWE's SmackDown! Shut your mouth! And I basically left off, I, I picked up right where I left off in the last video, because this is probably about like 12 seconds afterward. Actually, it's more like 45, but, you know, I'm not counting. Actually, yes I am, I got a counter right here. Alright, so, today is Judgment Day, and the reason why I decided to record this today instead of tomorrow is because I'd rather do it today. I'm one of those people that, you know, when something big's coming up, I'd rather do it right then and there instead of having to wait time, you know. So we're just going to jump right into it now, start the program, Judgment Day. I probably have a match against Maven or something. I didn't check the stables. I actually wanted to go see if I'd ban this... Oh, wait a minute. I'm with Maven, and against Hardcore Holly and Sean Stasiak. Um, excuse me, how does that make any sense? I thought he left me. He left me to the dogs, you know, Hardcore Holly beat me up, and Sean Stasiak beat me up. And Maven wasn't there to help. Um, I don't like this idea. I might want to go to uh, the GM and see if I can talk to him about it. Um... In other news, Devon's facing Undertaker for some reason in the final match of the night. Uh, then there's a hardcore time limit six man match. I don't know what the hell that's all about. Um, I know there's a time limit. I know that there's six men involved. And I know that's a hardcore match. But is that like tag team style? Like Bradshaw and Farouk versus Raven and Taz versus Matt Hardy and the Big Valbowski? That would make somewhat sense. Or is it just like a free for all? Like Bradshaw versus Taz versus Farouk versus Raven versus Matt Hardy versus Big Valbowski? Or is it a three-on-three -three with Bradshaw, Taz, and Farouk versus Raven, Matt Hardy, and the Big Valbowski? I don't know. We'll check and see how that works later on. Now that we're going to jump right into this, uh, we'll check and see if anybody's around, like we normally do. You know, that's just standard processing. Hold on, go ahead. Alright, so that's the intro to uh, Judgment Day. And to get back what I was trying to say, to get back to what I was trying to say, uh, we're just going to do the normal routine of going around, checking all the rooms, making sure that I don't miss anybody or anything, and uh, then we shall continue with the actual night. I don't know, can I go outside? I think that I, I can, yes. It's just because we were in London, wasn't it? Oh, God. That's got to suck. They didn't structure London correctly. How dare they? Was were we even in London? I can't remember. I probably sound really stupid. You like saying in the comment section, "Dude, it was this place instead of that." Yeah, you know, it's not London, you dumbass. And I'd be like, you know, dude, I'm sorry. It's been like two and a half weeks. I, I don't remember that shit. Hey, Kimmy, what can I do for you? What do you want? I'm really busy right now. How am I doing? I got 72 like I thought. I would like a title shot. You're too busy. Okay, fine then. I kind of figured that's what he was going to say, because that's what he always fucking says. He doesn't ever let me do anything in this godforsaken company. Oh, hey, look at that. Steven. Yo, you got a match against Undertaker. Are you scared, bro? Let's talk to Reverend Devon. See what insightly information he has to say. You might want to get in a fight with me, so uh, be forewarned if that happens. Oh, brother. I'm very impressed with your outstanding performance lately. Uh... Thanks. What do you want? I think he wants a charity. Uh, one of those, uh, what you call it? Um, something the Catholic Church does a lot when you go to, uh, sermons and stuff. Uh, you give him money and, uh, what do they call it? He'll probably say, thanks. Listen to me. I've seen the light. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes, I have seen the light. I have seen the light. And the great prophet showed me the light. He showed it to me with his own two hands. And I said, look at that. I can see it with my own two eyes. And I was it. yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do not be discouraged, my brother. We go city to city, state to state. Looking at all these sinners out there. It's a dwelling city of demons. And my brother, you're following in that path. You need to be saved in the righteous way of the Lord. My benefactor, the prophet, Vince McMahon, along with myself, of course, we can help you. We can show you that light. We can lead you to it. I can understand why he's in a match against Undertaker now. Um, this dude is working with Vince McMahon. 
pretty obvious explanation there. Anyway, get back to the story. You see, these people are poisoning you, and I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my brother. Kind of sounds like a Samuel L. Jackson line in that movie Pulp Fiction. Um, so apparently he just wants to save my soul for uh, the great lord, the great prophet, not, my, not, not the great lord, the great prophet, my bad, Vince McMahon, instead of uh, asking for money. Okay. I'll make sure that these people will not destroy you. But with that comes the price. Oh, there it is. there's the money. I'll, there's always a catch. And when I mean a price, it's a good thing. In order for me and the prophet to save you, we need a slight donation. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to no donate. For what? I'm not going to ask for what, because I already heard him go through that whole spiel. Um, and honestly, I like the way that this is going. I kind of want to see where this develops. Sure, I'd be happy to donate. Oh, brother! Oh, yes, my brother! I can make you see the light! Uh, yeah, you just got to shine in my eye, bro. I'll be fine. God bless you! All right, hey, yeah, golf clap for Devon, Reverend Devon, preaching to the cry choir. Um, how do you think he stole my money? That bastard stole my money and my watch. Good God Almighty! Oh, that was not a racial joke. I actually <laughs> didn't even expect that when I was saying that. I, I'm sorry, I'm not a racist. Uh, maybe I am. Um, I didn't mean to be there that time. Ooh, God, I'm gonna get so much hate for that. I'm probably going to get hate for this uh, spiel that I went on with that guy, too. Mm. I, I just figured that's the way that Reverend Devon would spoke. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Horrible grammar, go! No, I, I figured that's the way that Reverend Devon... Reverend Devon! Good God, Michael, get it right. Would speak. Uh, good God, I've already s stumbled over words too much to count in this video. But I guess that's why you guys, you know would continue to watch because I'm not perfect because I am human and not just some random dude who decides to talk like this the entire time my voice sounds a little like Morgan Freeman when I do this voice but it's not nearly as good honestly Morgan Freeman could probably do YouTube videos and make a load of money he's got this huge cult following that's really large actually on uh, the interweb interwebs on the internet and stuff so I think if he were to do YouTube videos, he could make a killing. But, you know, that's not Morgan Freeman's style. I think he's one of those people that likes to give back to the community and stuff. I really would not know, because I don't know him as a person. Or do I know him very well as an actor, because I've never watched a lot of his films. Sorry to say. I'm sure he made a great Nelson Mandela, if that is what he did. I'm pretty sure that's what he did. And I'm sure that he's done a few other things, too, but that's the first thing that came to mind. Um, anyway, I forgot to mention in the last video, um, I, I didn't forget to mention, I just forgot to say, I didn't do a shout out in the last video, nor did I do one in the 13th video special. However, the 13th video special was kind of a shout out to myself, so I'm going to let that one slide. But the last video was not shouted out, so uh, we're going to have to do that in this video. Um, I'd like to give a nice shout out to Morgan Freeman! Hey, look at that! I can segue things. No, um, though I would like to shout out Morgan Freeman, I'd rather shout out another really good uh, black actor who I actually read a nice story about. Uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, I believe you might have heard of him from The Book of Eli, which honestly was one of my favorite, is uh, to this day, one of my favorite movies because it has to do with post apocalyptic stuff. It's got an insanely awesome story. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of great actors and stuff. But there's also, um, you know, uh, the director really knew what he's doing. I, I'll leave it at that. If you've seen the Book of Eli, you know what I'm talking about. You know, he's, he, he makes you think. You know, it's great. It's good stuff. Uh, so I'd like to shout out Denzel Washington, because not only is he a really great actor, but he's a, a really good person. And this might have just been PR, but he went to a, uh, I want to say it's like a medical camp or something like that for, uh, I want to say it's U.S. soldiers. But it, it, I think it's just soldiers in general 
Uh, it's a medical camp in, I want to say Germany. I can't remember the exact story off the top of my head. I don't have it in front of me here either. I'm just trying to do it, you know, on the fly. But, you know, he went and he donated his time and I think a little bit of money to this medical facility. And it doesn't ever make, you know, things like this never really make the news. I mean, if it's somebody like Tom Cruise or, you know, a higher up and more memorable name, you guys are always going to hear about these dudes doing, you know, like, philanthropic works, if that's the correct way of saying that. Um, but when it's somebody like Denzel Washington, who's a really good actor, don't get me wrong, but he's lesser known by people who haven't seen, you know, The Book of Eli, which I think is one of his biggest movies, at least the one I know him from. You know, and so he doesn't make the front page of the news. He did for uh, this one place in uh, San Antonio, uh, the news in San Antonio. So it might not actually have been in Germany. It might have been in Texas. So, you know, don't quote me on this. I, I have no clue what the hell I'm even talking about. Other than the fact that Denzel Washington is a cool dude and that he did uh, nice. He, he's a good philanthropist. So how does this work? Uh, we're going to head and skip it. Because I can't interfere. Uh, so yeah, it was, looked like it was just a six-man, whoever won, won. And one person won, which was Bradshaw. And so Bradshaw is still your hardcore champion. Uh, did not, you know, think that he was going to lose because he was the champion. Reigning champions generally win. Plus there was a time limit, so he might have actually just gone to the time limit. He had a lot of options. Anyway... Uh, let's check and see our match. Uh, there's no championship involved because it's Hardcore Holly and uh, Sean Stasiak, who have absolutely nothing to do with the titles whatsoever, uh, against myself and Maven in a regular Tornado Tag match. So there will not be an introduction uh, uh, entrance. I don't know how I keep calling it an introduction. It's an entrance. Uh, we're just going to jump right into the actual game. Ooh. Oh, nice. I didn't realize that this was a loading screen. Let's see, uh, Trish Stratus, Tori Wilson, and Lita. Yeah, Lita was on the left, Trish Stratus was up top, and I think Tori Wilson was on the bottom. I might have got that wrong, but I think that's what it is. Uh, it looks like our tag team's still together. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't delete that, because we might not have had the match together. Uh, and that could have been bad. Anyway, so I've got a European title. He does not have a title. And I think that he's just jealous because I've got that title. Hopefully we can work out our differences and beat uh, Hardcore Holly and Sean Stasiak. Uh, more than likely I'm going to have to just tank this match because Hardcore Holly is going to you know, beat the crap out of me. And Maven is just not going to do anything about it. And so I'm going to have to do a basically uh, two-on-one match or a hardcore, uh, not hardcore, handicap match. How do you like me now? I don't, Hardcore Holly. I do not like you now. Actually, I have a Hardcore Holly action figure still. I think. Actually, I might have sold that. Yeah. Um, as I've mentioned before, I'm 16 years old. And the fact that I still have some wrestling figures is kind of sad <laughs> when you think about it. Because I'm... A practically a teenager and I'm still playing with toys that are designated for people 12 and under. Take them out! Let's go! So yeah, that kind of, uh, it's a little sad, but honestly I don't think it's that bad. Uh, I will be doing, uh, where am I? I will be doing baseball. Um, the 13th video special was not a one-time deal. I'm going to be doing baseball, like I said, in that video. Um, but that'll probably be, like, tomorrow. Uh, that'll probably be tomorrow's stuff because I don't have time today because stuff um, I think I might have reversed incorrectly so we're gonna need to remember that I can't remember which one reverses for which so I'm just gonna keep pressing the uh, square button and using the d-pad until I figure out which one that works for anyway so tomorrow is more than likely gonna be uh, baseball and that's about it. So, uh, Judgment Day will be the last thing that you see for this entire week. Uh, this weekend, my grandparents are going to uh, a gala for our school. 
yeah, our school is a private school, so we get a lot of uh, donations from parents and stuff. And let me out of this! Let me out of this! Huh. I think that's the first time I've been in a pen. Huh. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, lots of donations are done. Uh, because it's a private school, there's a lot of money, uh, generally, from the people. Spear! So, uh, we have galas, which, you know, the tickets probably cost, I don't know how many hundreds of dollars. And it's great. It's great. Um, so they're going to be going doing that. They're going to go and do that. I hate my Eastern Shore way of speaking. Uh, in case you guys are unfamiliar with the Eastern Shore of Maryland, uh, we have a sort of uh, Southern style of speaking, I guess. Uh, we have y'all a lot, and people don't really understand that. When you think of Maryland, you probably think of like what Baltimore and Annapolis, unless you're from Maryland. Um, or Delmarva, that general region, then you somewhat understand it a bit better. But, you know, we're pretty southern in this section. We got, like, the rednecks and all that, which uh, historically were pretty southern uh, to begin with. We've got a lot of, uh, I guess, what, what would you call them? Uh, I guess because I'm a white guy, I can say it. crackers. Uh, I hope that doesn't offend anybody. They're, would consider themselves to be one, or the newest people who they consider to be one. Uh, I, you know, I feel that because I'm white, I actually can say that. You know, like a black person would be able to call another black person, you know, that word. And, you know, Mexicans can call other Mexicans. I guess whatever. You know, they 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 can. You can make fun of your own uh, race. I feel that's something that Americans at least can do. Uh, and if I'm completely wrong and I've offended a lot of white people, or if I've offended people who aren't white in general, you know, um, I apologize. And no, uh, Maven, if you lose us this match, I will slaughter your family. Yeah, you know, you're going to first ditch me and then you're going to lose the match for me? Yeah, no, get out of here. And did it to... Did it tear? Did it tear? Uh, let me go ahead and take this dude. Uh, you can take Hardcore Holly, Maven, because you guys seem to have such a beautiful friendship and stuff. Um. So yeah, <laughs> the past like three videos have probably offended a whole lot of people, and I might have lost uh, viewers that you know potential viewers at least. So I apologize for. Anything like that. That was a nice move. I wish I could do that move more often. Yeah, get down, bro. I was going to do my finishing move, but apparently Maven decided to uh, end the match prematurely. So, uh, this video is going to be a lot shorter than uh, the usual video. And actually, the usual video is coming to be about this time period, which is good, because it actually cuts down on my uploading speed, or uploading time. Uh, I think the problem with the uploading was that my computer wasn't used to doing Is he going to betray his partner like that? What's he going to do? Oh, wait a minute before I continue. I don't know. What, what are you going to do, Maven? No! Maven is not leaving him yet! He's taking him on! Come on, Maven. Help me out, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so very much, Maven. Great job, King says. These two are a real tag team after all. Maybe we should go for the tag team titles. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, uh, stroking my invisible beard because I had to shave this morning. Or maybe it was yesterday. Yeah, I shaved yesterday. Uh, Van Damme's attire, Vince McMahon's attire, Eddie Guerrero's attire, Undertaker's attire, Crate Parts 2 in the Judgment Day Arena. We'll just go with the arenas for now. For now. Um, actually, I want to start something, and I'm probably going to be pretty late by the time anybody sees this, but today is uh, February 18th. Uh, Undertaker beat Devon in an Undisputed Championship match. kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, it appears that dinner's coming up, so I'm going to make this quick. I want to start something that's... Uh, you know, somewhat new, but also somewhat used. There's no shave November, and I'm thinking about, you know, 
trying out mustachioed march if anybody says you know that's a stupid idea please go ahead and send that in the comment section that is the kind of you know constructive criticism that i like not that your opinions are completely invalid i hate you as a person i'm coming i hear you all right um so yeah that was my grandfather he's telling me that uh, dinner's ready so we're gonna go ahead and uh, save these uh, you actually know what I'm not gonna save these because I want to make sure that everything's correct anyway thank you very much for your time I'm gonna do some editing and I'll probably upload these tonight thank you very much again again I, I keep having trouble with these goodbyes I'm gonna have to figure out a quick way of being able to say just goodbye and then click you know whatever